you need to fully integrate. You need to integrate in every aspect. You need to become everything that you really are. You need to stop settling for less. Your mind, body, and spirit, you need to start moving them in unity. You need to move them in unison. When I say you need to integrate these things, what I mean is the secret to life, the secret to winning, is harmonizing in every present moment. This is another reason that presence is so important. Being mindful is so important because if you're not mindful, if you're not aware, if you're not in that moment, you can't truly harmonize with everything you're trying to be and everything that you want. So for example, you wanna be somewhere, you wanna be something, you wanna be this thing. And a core part of you becoming that thing is, yes, visualization is important, it's good that you're fantasizing, but you shouldn't just merely be daydreaming all day long about this goal or about this 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 dream of yours. You need to be taking proper and right action and you need to space out the proper times for visualization. So when you're not visualizing, you should just be automatically taking actions in good faith towards your dream, towards your goal. And in order to truly harmonize, you also need to let go of the control you believe you have over how things are gonna turn out or how things are supposed to look or how the way your dream is supposed to manifest. You need to let go of that false control. You never had control. All you had was anxiety, bro, all right? So look, that's just merely one part of it, taking the right action, action that's aligned with what your spirit truly wants and you know what your spirit truly wants. And if you claim you don't, you need to sit alone for a while and really think about what at your core do you need just for you and your life to feel fulfilled and validated in your own mind. And once you answer that, once you have that, now you know how your mind and your body should be aligned. You know how your mind and body should operate. You are given these signals from yourself, from your higher self. And it's your job to control the mind and to control the body to align with your core purpose. It's simple yet complicated at the same time. And some people, depending on who you are, might've just felt that click intuitively, how to flow with life, how to harmonize. And maybe you already knew how to let go, but you were still consumed by the habits of your negativity, which proceeded to give you certain life experiences and certain challenges. But at least <clears throat> that's, basically, that's basically another form of being out of sync. When you, you're you mentally, you're at that place where you feel like, okay, I'm above all these petty things, you know, I'm above this and that, this doesn't affect me negatively, I'm not going to let this ruin my day. Sometimes you can still, you can be above those, but physically, I mean, above those in your spirit, but physically and mentally, you will still be confined to your old thought patterns and habits, which are keeping this, <clears throat> this cycle you're in going. So essentially... You're probably like, at some point though, even though your spirit is above this and you know you're strong and you can withstand all this, you will get frustrated and fed up with yourself. Like, why aren't you listening to yourself? Why are you ignoring your inner voice? That's also another way of being out of sync. Sometimes you can be taking action but your mind and your spirit just aren't in the right place. Sometimes you're taking action towards something you really shouldn't be. And that's it's just the complete opposite of what your spirit really wants. And it's also kind of the opposite of what your mind wants. That's when you're really fucked, when you're all out of sync with your spirit, mind, and body. But yeah, you could be taking action or you could be taking what is perceived to be proper action towards your goal, but without the proper um, time put away to learn to elevate yourself in the mind towards this task and and towards your actions to really dissect your actions and really create better actions that are more aligned with your dream you need to you need to you utilize all parts of yourself to truly manifest anything worthwhile otherwise you'll be manifesting and creating things haphazardly or randomly without control You'll probably get randomly blessed every now and then because you're 
only you're only doing so much of what you should be doing. I want you to get in sync, bro. Sync your mind, body, and spirit. You need to meditate. You need to practice. You need to exercise. And there are plenty of other practices. Like yoga, for example. Things that connect the mind and the body. Things that heal the mind will also heal the body. And vice versa. You need to do more positive things. Productive things. Things that make you feel good. That's all I wanted to keep it to you. Guys. Things by, by things that make you feel good, nigga. Not like just fucking random shit. You know what I mean? Not like negative, negative shit. I mean like the positive things like journaling, meditating, gratitude, showing gratitude, etc. But yeah, that's all I wanted to spit to you guys tonight. Um, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace, love, and positivity.